Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, Vanessa and Vanessa, we are back. The final week of the regular season. Uh, the final week for some of us in this group, aka the four horsemen, uh, who are who's going to uh, continue to bear the torch of ineptitude for the next four weeks while battling it out in the constellation bracket. Hashtag the Calder Invitational 2023. It is your host, the trash bag. The trash bag, the man who fought back through anti, who battled spoons every single day just to just to try to get the playoffs. The third most points in the league. I'm barely going to make playoffs. I would like to, uh, 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 Galt hasn't been a formally uh, uh, defeated yet. He would have to score a solid, like, 130 more points than me, me and like 80 more points than Ski, but uh, it's all but a done deal. Uh, Gaul, your uh, your run was phenomenal. Your service to this great league was uh, much appreciated, and how many times you were able to finesse everyone but Calder was uh, was on it. Honestly, brought a tear to my eye. But uh, we'll, we're moving on to regularly scheduled programming here on the uh, on a 105.6 uh, uh, the the trash bag. Um, uh, it, it's not going to be too long. Call to me. Um, uh, Storylines. This week is all about playoff seeding. <laughs> Give me a break. There's no real. Pl- I mean, there's you know, like like I said, there's a chance, um, but there's no actual like real play. Like, me and Skeet are like seven and six. We're not playing for the last spot, right? Uh, we're playing just probably who gets the sixth seed. Uh, and if I win, I could jump all the way. I could jump all the way to four. I, I could be four, five, or six. Um, Gary, I, and I think the same holds true to Skeet, depending on his points for. Uh, I can test it out. Number of phones, all of you. Um, except Evan. And then, wait. <laughs> uh, Skeet here. So we have um, Skeet is at 1,200 and... Um, oh, no, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, oh, Skeet has more points than Gary. So if Gary wins and Skeet wins... Gary has to outscore um, Skeet by six points, or unless get and get or Gary's the five seed, and that would mean my, me the six and Skeet the four. If I win, um, if I win and Gary loses, I'm the four, and then depending on the point shakeup, uh, it would be uh, Skeet and Gary rounding out uh, the playoff bracket as it stands right now. Um, oh, give me a break. Um, I don't, I don't see it on here. Uh, I, as it stands right now, just off me, recent memory, um, it's uh, I got the, the, it's not working. Uh, it's, 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 it's Alex up here, uh, and then he, you have, um, I guess it would be, yeah, it would be Skeet. This is no. Um, four. Hold on, let's see here. Questionable to return. Uh, 434. Okay, hold on. This isn't updated, so wait to you and yours, all of you. Um, so this doesn't have last week's score in here. Um, I believe as it stands, Skeet is six. Okay, here it comes. Uh, it's Alex, Cheese, Calder. Give me a break. Uh, Gary, uh, he's eight and five. I'm seven and six. And Skeet also is seven and six. Um, I've, I hold the tiebreaker for Skeet for points. And between Gary and uh, Skeet, uh, Gary has fifteen oh six, and uh, Skeet has fourteen eighty eight. So about twenty four points there. Uh, Skeet would have to outscore Gary if both were to win. Um, uh, based on projections right now, Calder wins, and Skeet wins. Um, which means I Calder is three, I'm six, and then depending on the shakeup between Gary and Ski to be four and five. Um, uh, but the the number one seed, Alex, give me a break with like the second least points in the league and the definitely the least points against. Uh, he's the only person in the 1300s, and it's not quite frankly even close. Uh, the next closest is. Uh, who, who is it? Uh, Skeet and then Al and then Cheese. So just uh, it's typical standard protocol for spoon feedings. Uh, lack of points against. Um, but yeah, uh, and uh, as it stands, it will be Alex and then Cheese uh, with the bye week. Depending on how that shakes out, Calder can still get that bye week, and actually Gary can get that bye week. Give me an actual break. Um, 
McGarry can also be the fifth seed. Um, so uh, right now it's Alex, it's Cheese, and then at the sixth seed it would be Skeet. So it would be Calder playing Skeet, and then Alex, the one seed, would have Gary and I in the uh, in his bracket. Um, so um, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say it's a more favorable side, Alex and Gary's side, uh, but just based off points scored, I mean, it, I, numbers don't lie. Um, but regardless, none of you are any good. Uh, I'm not ducking any action. Uh, you're all bad. Um, but uh, yeah, we're moving on here. Uh, uh, the, we'll, our first segment will be uh, uh, our it'll be our Amber Alert session. I'm looking for Tank Dell, Austin Eckler, DeAndre Swift, and Hollywood Brown. I repeat, I'm looking for Austin Eckler, DeAndre Swift, Hollywood Brown, and Tank Dell. Betwixt the four of them, they combine for an abysmal, a grotesque, a just simply laughable seven points. Seven points. Tank Dell's uh. His fibula became two. Uh, it broke up. Uh, no Taylor Swift. Um, uh, hi, man. The trash bag. Give me a break. Uh, we know this. This is how this is how things play out now. Um, and uh, Scoggin, just to really top off the cherry of anti. Um, I I hate to do it, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry. A valiant fight. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. trash bag oh wait he did i beat him by 97 it was really hard to watch i don't know how dawkins could sleep with his seven nine he's in a tree getting knocked out by me scoggins got low 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 scoggins second to last week low man uh, we have one more low man guys so you do not want to end the season on the low man watch that's on youtube for the entire off season uh if, if, if I get low, man, I just won't make the podcast. I just I just won't do it. I'm not going to sit here and let you guys parade around for seven months and make fun of me. Um, so I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. My wife makes fun of me during the seven months she's pregnant all the time. So I'm not letting you guys just going to sit here and raw dog me. I'm just not doing it. I'm not going to sit here and let you drag me through the mud for your own, for your own entertainment. Next. Family court. Me, again. Scoggins and I, I, I beat him by 94 points. You. Yeah, Scoggins, I'm so sorry. The drug test, the DNA test, the, uh, the DNA test has come back and, uh, it turns out biologically, uh, you are my son. Um, and uh, I appreciate everything you did, uh, you've done for me in this life, but it's time to cut the umbilical cord. Um, you're bad. <laughs> Next segment, the mega egg layer. A Krispy Kreme hot and donut giving Terry McLaurin. That man was just out there running cardio. I mean, the dude was just out there running, you know, like no Forrest Gump. The dude was just running, he got like two targets, uh, it just it, call no middle of Chicago on having two targets. He, you know, it's just uh, <clears throat> give me a break, dude. He's just, I mean, he literally was out there running cardio, and it's not like his quarterback's any good, despite what Calder is led to believe. Um, but yeah, I just the fact that I mean, not a catch. What an abysmal outing for Terry McPooper pants. Moving on. I gotta sit here and spend time on someone as bad as Terry McLaurin. The most pathetic team performances. The Jags. 
all that the announcer, all that Joe Buck, give me a break. All that Joe Buck was going on about was how incredible the Jacksonville Jaguar defense is. They have one good player, and his name is Josh Allen, so it's not like he's going to come up in big situations because Josh Allens aren't able to do that. So, uh, and, and, then, and then again, um, and then again, um, you know, Trevor Lawrence's, uh, his, his anterior, uh, his anterior ankle ligament blew up quicker than Gognum style in 2012. It, it's just, I, and then Doug Peterson, give me a break, dude, quit sandbagging us. He's not going to play. He's not going to play. The dude threw his helmet, you know, I mean, I, just come on. No, I'm on raw on throwing stuff for no reason. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, and I mean, it, my problem with the Jags, like they have all these toys, but then you get you get you get glazed for hours before the game starts, and then for the first twenty minutes, and you just let you have, y'all let anyone score, right? Like no Jenny McCarthy on letting anyone score. It's I mean, you guys are not good, Drake Browning. <laughs> I don't know his his actual stat line, but he had about 27 too many fantasy points, and he only had 28. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, he's just not very good. Um, he's been a perennial backup. He was going to do volunteer coaching. That's how bad he is. I think his stat line was like 32 of 37, a 360-piece nugget, and three tutties. Like, I'm um, on. And a rushing tutty. Give me an actual break. Give me a break, dude. Next. The New England Patriots. I don't. I got. I got something for you. They lost six zero. What do Evans' playoff percentage chances and the Patriots' score on Sunday have in common? They're both huge goose eggs. You're both hard. Um. So yeah, there's that. Uh. uh the Steelers. Goodness gracious. So this is being recorded after last night's debacle with the uh, the Patriots, who just got blanketed by Brandon Staley's defense, a guy who should be working on my assembly line. Uh, he is just horrid. He should be unemployed. Um, no liberal. Um, he, and they just got ran all over. At home, mind you. Call no me on getting ran over at home. They, it, that was absolutely embarrassing. The Eagles, I've said it before and I'll say Hey it again! They are not good. The fact that Jalen Hurts has eight rushing touchdowns from the ones tells me two things. One, you're being caught on by the officials because that would mean that that would mean that the officials are throwing flags in the end zone. You're not getting stopped at the one yard line ten times. You're not. That's just not happening. So you're getting caught on by the officials. And two, if you play a real team, you get cooked. Moving on. The I mean. The Brock per number 13, number 15, and number 19 made you guys their biological fathers. They ruined you guys. Call no low numbers on 15 and 19. Call no Josh Giddy on having low numbers ruin your life. If you don't get it, look it up. The Jets. The Jets. Burn the city down. No Democrats. Just burn it down. Start over. Or don't. That would even be better. Don't start over. Because the mockery you guys are putting out shouldn't be... It's not meant for Comedy Central. Theo Vaughn, one of the most unanimously not funny guys on the planet, he's 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 not even... Th he doesn't even think you guys are good. It's, it's that bad. It's that bad. So, moving on. Um... Uh, the biggest spoon and anti, uh, give me a break. Jake Browning and Jamar Chase. I'm an honest man. I'm an equitable, uh, podcast leader. Uh, Josh, Jamar Chase scoring 26 is insanity. Insanity, I tell you. So the next biggest spoon feeding was Debo at 34. Are you joking with me? And Joe Mixon at 28. That's just silly. And Joe Mixon breaking 10 is a spoon feeding as is. So I just, that's asinine to me. Um, and we'll do uh, some of the puns. And then I've got uh, a, a couple songs for you guys. Um, uh, we'll be featuring the Steelers for my uh, song of the week. Uh, but my puns Terry McDogwater, Slay McBride, Jameer Fibs. <laughs> 
Derek carted off the field? Give me a break. Give me a break. Next. Name that song. The Squealers. Here we go. This is this is just to highlight your ineptitude. It's largely in part due to the fans. And it's just it's just what you guys have to deal with. And it's incredibly hard to watch. But it's just you guys are in touch with this song because you just go through agony year in, year out, week in and week out with dog water quarterbacks. And that's it. Dear Agony, Breaking Benjamin. Steelers are so bad. Mike Tomlin can't save you this time. He is bad too. Mitch Trubisky should be. He should not be employed. Mitch is so dead. The Steelers fans, the coaches, the team, the players, the locker room, everything. It's just a letter to agony, welcoming it in, welcoming it in to the doors of ineptitude, and they're wide open in the Steelers in the Steelers camp, baby. Give me a break. Next. I would like to give this this isn't gonna be easy. Gold. We salute you, Evan. We salute you, Cheese, Alex, Grant, and Cheese, and Alex, and Gary, and Skeet, and Calder, and Andrew. We appreciate it. We appreciate what you've done. We appreciate you taking up spots in the Constellation Bracket. We love you, we adore you, and we salute you. Matt. Calder. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Oh, that's funny. I'm so used to saying it. I'm so used to saying Calder. Matt. Stoggins. Evan and Clay, we salute your service to this great republic that allows us real, and you lesser lands taking up the constellation bracket. But guys, that's about it for the trash bag. It's the, per the usual. But uh, yeah, we I appreciate everything, and um, we're almost we're about to be wrapped up with the season. We'll have uh, like I said, the uh, play, basically this weekend is just playoff seedings. Uh, but yeah, it should be a good rest of seat, uh, rest of the well, week. Uh, Skeet got fed naturally, uh, typical part of course. But uh, yeah, trash bag Audi. My daughter wants egg bites from uh, there. Let's see, there. If you see that, that is uh, overpriced capitalism at its finest. But for now, trash bag out. Playoff people, we'll see you on the other side. Constellation brackets. Thank you for your service. Trash bag Audi. Connor, you get that.